Eric Darling here with Darling Data. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't actually sure that the the record button worked on that one. It's, it's a, things are a little touch and go for a minute, and uh, I have finally gotten my awful um, nerd allergies uh, subdued to the point where I think I can make it through an entire video without uh, without anything terrible happening. We're gonna see if that actually works. We're gonna see if that happens. Uh, if it doesn't, this thing's going in the scrap heap. So it's all right either way. Um, I don't mind. I, try not, I, I, don't, I don't get too attached to these things. I, I upload them. I delete them from my hard drive. They're on YouTube. If anything ever happens to YouTube, uh, it just wasn't meant to be, I suppose. <laughs> so uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about all the different angles of performance troubleshooting stuff, right? Because that's what I do for a living. I troubleshoot SQL Server performance issues. And you know, I walk into a lot of situations where maybe not a lot of things were done in a great way, and it's my job to unravel them. It's my job to figure out what, what you know, not every single thing that is unaligned to best practices needs to be fixed, but the ones that are causing the problems certainly do. So let's just pretend that we have a store procedure that we're troubleshooting. We're not actually going to run this as a store procedure. We're just going to run this as some ad hoc code because it's, quite frankly, just good enough. Right. So we have, two, we have two queries here. Uh, we have one that inserts some rows into a table variable called Huey Pops, which uh, if, you're not, if you're not hipping with it, like Oli Darl's over here, uh, that, that, that's, that's what the kids say for Way Popular, Way Pops. They don't, it's, not, it's not my kids saying, go away, Pops, <laughs> or random kids on the street saying, go away, Pops. Uh, <laughs> You're weird and covered in tattoos, and kids of our generation don't care for tattoos. Uh, it's way popular. And then um, what we do is uh, we do some work with that table variable. Uh, in this case, I've chosen uh, uh, to cross-apply to it with the select top one query as our sort of villain. And, you know, you can, you can call this sort of stuff unrealistic or unreasonable, and you can say, oh, I know all this stuff. But... Uh, not everyone does, so. Uh, and you'll, if you notice down here that I have, for the moment, I have the optimizer compatibility level hinted to 140. Of course, because I'm, I'm using SQL Server Developer Edition, because this Microsoft, it promises is not production data. You don't, don't audit me and start trying to charge me seven grand a core for this. It's not, it's not going to be worth your time. I'll fight you. Uh, because in, uh, under compat level 150, developer edition, which is equivalent to enterprise edition, uh, table variables do get treated a little bit differently. Right? We're going to look at both ways, don't worry. So um, I'm going to take advantage of kind of a neat thing that SSMS added, where I can execute the current batch. Let's shift, alt, and F5 for anyone playing along at home. And watch what this does. It's going to turn the two queries under this, booger green, <laughs> Awful, like, that's not even like go Celtics green. That's just like, like you're, you're, you're sick green. And this is going to run for, uh, let's just say about 10 seconds. And here's what the query plans look like. Let's bring that up a little bit so we can see both things in full detail. Uh, we have an insert into the table variable that all in all, all told, takes about 1.6 1, 1. seconds. And then we have a query down here that takes about eight seconds. And we can see you know, there's not a lot of time spent in this, in this part, 51 milliseconds. But this is where SQL Server chooses to say, ah, this is where we need an index on the users table. That'll solve all our problems. Right? We, can reduce, we can reduce this query's impact by 58%. If only we had this index on the users table. Oh, that's... We can see, looking at this thing, that we, we spent, you know, eight, eight seconds in here, right? A lot of it scanning our table variable. That's, that's, not, that's not a good time, is it? Why would we spend eight seconds doing that? <sighs> SQL Server, come on now. Come on now, SQL Server. What's wrong with you? So let's just look at that real quick under Compat Level 150. So under Compat Level 150, a, one, one thing is going to change. <laughs> Exactly one thing. If I execute the current batch, it's going to go a little bit faster. Not like, you know, saves the day faster, but about twice as fast. So like four seconds instead of like eight seconds. And this query in here did 
get better, right? Like this, this query is still about the same at 1.6 seconds, but this query all of a sudden has signs that, well, perhaps this missing index request is not where we should be focusing our time. Perhaps an index is missing on our table variable because we have an index spool coming off our table variable. SQL Server has taken its, it, its just, you know, magnificent big brain and said, I'm going to take this temporary object and I'm going to create a temporary index in tempdb after I've scanned all the rows for, from our temporary object and, and then we're going to use that index instead, which not a, not a terrible strategy because we're down from eight seconds to two and a half seconds, right? So, you know, in this case, index spool kind of worked out in our favor, but that's not good enough, right? <clears throat> we still have this thing that runs for like, I don't know, Let's see, 1.6 plus 2.3, I don't know, it's about four seconds. We don't, it's not good enough for us. We are professional performance tuners. I don't know, I don't know who you think you're messing with here. So the, the eager index pool is certainly a sign that we, we, we should have an index around somewhere. So let's, let's try indexing our, our table variable, right? So we're going to, since we can't create an index after the fact, we're going to create one in line. So let's just say index C clustered user id and then date and then since we're, we're ordering by stuff by date descending down here let's 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 give it a shot with date descending the the clustered index and we're going to switch this back to 140 because you know well, not a lot of people i know are operating under 150 but we're going to look at both because we are if we are one thing here at darling data we are we are fair we are fair to everybody Mostly, except scalar UDFs, <laughs> kind of unfair to them. So uh, now let's execute this and see what happens. And you know that that's that's two seconds. So something got better, right? So uh, down in this query, I mean, SQL Server is still like we we need an index on users, which is you know stupid at this point, 183 milliseconds. And we spend about one second in here. But now this got a little bit worse. This got about 300 milliseconds slower. And the, the query plan for the insert changed, didn't it? Right? So let's, what, what happened? We, have, we now have this sort in here. And this sort spills a little. We can tell by the little, the little bangy thing here that this sort, this sort spilled off to disk. Maybe that's why it's slow. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just, you know, how, that's, maybe that's just how much time it took. The spill wasn't too devastating, right? If we look at uh, what happened in here, we spilled 3,900 pages. Well, that's not so much. We don't, I, don't think, I, don't think that's what's, I don't think that's what's slowing us down tremendously. So I think we, we need to rethink how this insert is structured, right? Like, what, what, what are we doing in here? Right, because now all of a sudden, we, so we have this index on the badges table. should probably, probably tell you about that. We have this index on the badges table, right? Name, user ID, and date. And since we're seeking to the, the name in the badges table here, right? Name in yada, yada, yada. Well, that, that index should present everything in a, in a reasonably orderly fashion. So let's, 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 let's take a look at why we are now sorting things to get, to get put data into the clustered index. Because remember, indexes sort data, and that's the kind of thing that the kind of thing they do that makes other stuff fast. Remember, the, the query we, we have down here now with all our data nice and indexed and sorted is, is pretty good. Like, we still have a crappy estimate, but in this case, like, it's, you know, such a small number of rows that we, we, just don't, we just don't need to care too much about that one. So, all right. How can we rewrite this insert in a way that will maybe be a little bit less painful? So, let's, let's take this. And let's, uh, let's, actually, let's actually do this twice. Actually, let's see, what's the best way to do this? I'm going to type in a demo and screw, screw with all of your heads. So now I just need to figure out how I want to do this. So let's take this part. And let's get rid of this. We don't need this right now. We're going to say equals, and then we're going to put that there. We're going to say equals, and we're going to put that there and say equals. And then we're going we're gonna to get, get crazy. No, not, not that not that crazy. Union all. There we go. And let's put a couple union alls in between these things. And now let's let's dandy up 
our where clauses. I'm going to put one there, and then we're going to put one here, and we're going to forget an end quote, and SQL prompt's going to put an extra one in, and then we're going to take this one and put that there. Now we can finally delete, delete this, this empty shell of a query. All right, let's just see what happens. Let's see. Oh, we know what we should do. We should, there, we, there we go. Term, terminate your queries properly, everyone. So let's do this. And we're still at like two seconds. And now instead of one sort, we have three sorts. There's one, there's two. And this one in the middle still spills. So maybe, maybe our index definition is working against us, right? So let's, let's actually take the descending out of here. Let's see, let's see how far this gets us. All right, so rerun this. And now, well, things got a little snappier, right? So the, the, the index order that we have on the, for the badges table, right? We, we are now pr fully preserving that index order, right? right? We seek to the name in all three of these things, and because we seek separately to the name in all three, we now have the data in order by user ID and date descending, right? So 1.6 seconds is still, still not great, but, you know, like the, this, this query is still going to be fast, you know, 100, 180 something milliseconds. So let's let's think about this a little bit differently, right? Let's 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 maybe let's maybe think about our, our good old friend the temp table, right? So let's uh, let's leave this where it is. But we're gonna I'm gonna steal this part, and what I'm gonna do is uh, just down here, rather than creating rather than declaring anything here, let's create a table here, and let's replace that with the pound or hash sign, whatever you want to call it. And now let's do an insert into that. Oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Got all ahead of myself. Now let's try that out. All right, so now we have two inserts, right? We're, gonna, we're just testing the inserts right now. We're gonna test the insert into the table variable versus the insert into the temp table. And now, let's see, let's see how these two, let's, let's, let's drag race these two. Oh, man, what did I do wrong? I forgot to drop table if exists. What an amateur. Drop table if exists. Way pops. Go away, pops. All right, let's try that again. Error free this time. Uh, it's running, it did its thing. And let's look at the difference between these two. So the, the first query, the insert into the table variable, takes about twice as long as the insert into the temp table. Now, uh, if you're like me, and this, this sort of thing interests you greatly, uh, you might go on you know, your SQL server and you might fire up Perfview or Windows Performance Recorder and you might... You might grab CPU stacks for when this stuff is happening, and you might, you might look at flame graphs and all sorts of other things to figure out why one thing is so much different than the other. But the, the short answer is that the, uh, the insert into an empty clustered index on a temp table gets all of like the fast-loading minimal logging stuff that if you are a big fan of uh, wine distributors from New Zealand, you, you, may have, you may have read various blog posts about. Uh, and that, that's something that the, the table variable doesn't get. It has never gotten. So in this case, uh, no, no, something that I've talked about many times in the past is that table variables uh, make queries ineligible for parallel execution plans. That's true all across all of everything, uh, unless you play weird tricks on, uh, on your table variable, like inserting from like a, executing dynamic SQL or uh, inserting from executing a store procedure, which I don't recommend doing the second one because that has some weird locking stuff that happens. I recorded a video about that that you should probably watch and catch up on if you haven't done that yet. But, uh, we, the, no, but there's no parallel plan difference here. These are both single-threaded plans. The only difference is that the, the data load into the temp table 
is far more optimized than the data load into the table variable. All right. So let's let's just get rid of the table variable. We're just going to quote this thing out now because we have we have once again determined that uh, temp tables reign supreme when it comes to performance. Right. Don't worry. They they don't always. They're certainly certainly at certainly times and places for table variables. Right. It's up to you to figure that out. I can't tell. I can't tell you every time you should use something. Uh, but so let's uh, let's see here. We got to draw, drop table. We got to create table. We got our insert, and then we need to fix this query a little bit, don't we? We need to make that point to the temp table that we created. And now let's start this over a little bit, and let's let's do our fancy trick here where we execute the current batch. And now we have everything rocking and rolling pretty okay don't we i think we did a pretty good job here we got uh the initial insert query down from a couple seconds down to just under a second and we got the final select down from eight seconds to just under 200 milliseconds and we didn't need to create this index on the users table to get there did we so uh this is sort of a, a stock and standard approach to, to query tuning uh, you, you fix little bits until you've got a whole thing that performs pretty well. Right? And this, is, this is what I do all day, all day every day um, for money. Weird, right? Get a piece of code, make it go faster. It's the darling data way. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you learned something. I'm mo moderately amazed... It's actually it's sort of a miracle that uh, I have not had one single allergic symptom during this entire, so far, 17 minutes. Um, I have been <laughs> uh, a, a little, little, holding back a little bit because I'm afraid that if I do anything too sudden, I might just break into a sneezing fit, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't enjoy that. You wouldn't like that at all. So uh, this is just, you know, couple things that you can look at and do. Hopefully some lessons learned in here. Uh, for all you, all you aspiring performance tuners out there on YouTube. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you like this video, uh, thumb, thumbs ups are appreciated as our, as our nice comments. They, boy, that Eric Darling sure is spiffy. Wish he was my dad. I would never tell him to go away, Pops. Something like that. Uh, if you like this sort of SQL Server content about performance tuning, which apparently some people do, you can join nearly 3,609 other satisfied customers of a free product uh, and, and subscribe to the channel and get notified every single time I post something. And normally when I post things, uh, my, my voice doesn't sound like, like scratchy box and uh, I'm, I'm not awaiting some terrible allergic disaster befalling me in the middle of recording. So uh, the, I, I promise the other videos are a little bit, a little bit more lively. So uh, yeah, uh, so we, we covered the like, the subscribe, the thanks. I think, I think that's about it. Um, I do appreciate you spending your time choosing to, choosing to learn from me. And uh, I will see you in the next video. All right. Thank you for watching.